Right now, one of the hottest topics in the drone world is the toroidal propellers. These propellers were proposed by MIT Lincoln Lab, you have a link in the description of this video, and are considered very quiet and efficient. So, my goal for this video is to analyze them to see if it is worth using them at this moment of propeller development. Mainly, I fly 5-inch drones which use this type of 3-blade propeller, 5140 type. To be more exact, it has 5.1 inches and a pitch of 4 inches, so nothing special about it. The first toroidal propeller is a bi-loop propeller of 5 inches. Striking FPV designed it and I printed version 2 here. You have a link to this design in the description of this video. The second one is a tri-blade toroidal propeller, which also has 5 inches. I printed both of them using PLA filament with a layer height of 0.07 mm and 100% infill. So, I will analyze these two types of propellers from the point of view of thrust and noise with my 5-inch free blade propeller as a reference. The system has as a main component a Myatek motor thrust tester able to measure at the same time the thrust generated by a specific motor using a specific propeller and the current required to get that particular thrust. To do all the measurements I used an iFlight motor. The motor was driven by a 40 amps ESC commanded by a PWM tester. To get the PWM duty cycle and ISDT bat go and a pulse wide measurement system were used. So, these are the raw results for each propeller type. You have in one column the current required to get the associated thrust presented in the second column. Since the representation is not very intuitive, I will put it in a graphic form. Next, I got this graph by representing the relation between the current and the thrust for each propeller type. But what it means? So, to have the same thrust of 600 grams, the classical propeller requires around 11 amps. The bi-loop toroidal propeller requires 22.5 amps and the tri-blade toroidal propeller requires around 17 amps. Or, if we analyze from another point of view, if the motor consumes 25 amps, the classical propeller will get a thrust of a little more than 1200 grams. The bi-loop toroidal propeller generate more than 600 grams but less than 700 grams and the tri-blade toroidal propeller generate a thrust of around 900 grams. Before presenting the measurement results, I propose to you to make a practical comparison of noises generated by the propellers and the motor.
Here are all the recorded conditions based on which the noise analysis results were obtained. So, the results are presented here for all the analyzed propellers. The measurements are in decibels. Maybe to understand all this data easier, I also gave them in a graphical format. So, these are the results. Let's have a short discussion to understand them better. I'll keep the graph here a bit longer to have the time to understand it. I know the results presented in this analysis are a little disappointing. The classical three-blade propeller outperforms all the radar propellers from all the analyzed aspects. So, you have here some conclusions. If you had a different opinion, I am glad to hear about it in the video comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and give me a like. Bye.